Hey guys, Keith here with Arb Kings, and I just want to take a second to talk to you guys about my DMM Kinesi Max harness setup for single rope or SRS climbing. Um, I get a lot of questions about my setup and my knee ascender specifically, so I just want to take a second to talk to you guys about it. On my Kinesi Max, I have the recoil Audax uh, suspenders and water bladder storage here. Um, I've always been a suspender guy on my Tree Motion Evo. I've got suspenders. Um, I've, you know, almost every harness I've ever worn, I've always had some variation of suspenders on it. I like how it distributes the weight. This recoil setup here on the DMM Kinesi Max is absolutely my favorite by, uh, by far. Highly recommend it if you're wearing this harness. Um, I have the tendon installed and you can see, if you're not familiar with the tendon, it's a shock cord kind of stowage system that attaches to your harness, goes all the way around your harness you install it yourself. You kind of select where it gets installed um, on your harness. It comes with a length of shock cord, length of tubing. Um, overall, pretty easy. Anyways, so how I set this up with my knee ascender um, is I went ahead and spliced together a piece of 1 8 inch AM steel. And I have a DMM Perfecto carabiner here and the Camp Turbo Chest Ascender. The Camp Turbo Chest Ascender has been my favorite overall knee ascender for a really long time. Um, I am a really big fan of CT though, and that's of course what's on the Haas and the Haas V-Locks. I've gone through several of these in the years since I've been climbing single rope. Uh, it's a great product. I'm a really big fan of it. Uh, it is bulky though. It's it's bulky, it's heavy, it's kind of hard to stow on your harness. Um, if you're not just ascending, you got to get up there and actually get some work done too. So this guy here, it is actually about the same length by the time I was done with it and got it dialed in as the Haas V-Locks. Maybe just a tad bit longer. Being so small and lightweight, I like that I can store it in a lot of various options. If I know that I'm going to ascend, do some work, and then keep on ascending, I'll keep it similar to this here. It allows me just to take it out of the transporter, come down underneath my bridge, and connect it. It does ascend very, very well. I ended up adding another XSRE carabiner on the right hand side of my shock cord. A lot of people will just do a termination knot here. I went ahead and added that so that way I can actually connect both sides of the shock cord to that swiveling eye on the swiveling DMM accessory carabiner that comes with the tendon. That way I can get a little bit more tension um, as it pulls up. So I'll just keep it like that. So when you're ready to connect your knee ascender, what I like to do when I'm wearing the Kinesi, unstow the carabiner from my transporter. I'll come underneath my bridge, connect it to my loops on my boot. If you don't have boots with loops, highly recommend them. Uh, but if you're not a big fan of that, 4SRT and Recoil both make some really good products that can slip over most boots. I like to run both sides of the shock cord here as mentioned. So I'll connect both ends. Now it's underneath my bridge. And there's a lot of tension here. Um, and by connecting both of them, also it kind of brings the ascender a little bit more over to the center of my legs, which I think gives a little bit more clearance and allows the ascender to pull up easier and get more travel out of it. Of course, we're not actually ascending right now, um, but you can see that it does ascend quite well. And I get about six to eight inches of travel out of it, um, unless I'm really bringing my legs up. Overall, it's a nice setup. If I know that I have to ascend, do some work, and then ascend some more, I'll often just undo one bungee cord. Some people will leave their knee ascender attached to their boot. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. I like to put it back on my harness. So I'll disconnect it from my boot, bring it up, and again, knowing that I need to ascend some more, I'll just stow it right there so it's quick and easy and successful. It's already connected to one end of the shock cord. If I'm done with it, I may take it off of the accessory carabiner, connect them together, and out of the way. Easily accessible if I need to get it again and continue on up. Um, overall, as mentioned, kind of this video is really about the tendon on the Kinesi Max and the knee ascender solution. Um, by having this shock cord as part of the harness, it's always there. It kind of allows you to save a lot of weight and bulk from a traditional knee ascender setup like the Haas or the Sokka. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. 
Uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, have a good day.